Last week, we helped a truck out of the deep sand, did a beer review on some Mexican beers, tried all the food around San Felipe, churros, tacos, ice cream, and then Div ended up getting stuck. We luckily were able to pull him out, but then we got stuck. No, 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 oh, you want, you need shoot. To now we're using the winch. Last case scenario, we snapped the toe strap, so that wasn't good. Now we're using the winch. Partially out, but not there yet. There we go. That's it. So glad we made it out. Our winch plate had four holes on it and only two screws. That's how it came. I followed the instructions on installing. But the instructions were obviously incorrect because they had two bolts on the top, so whenever you used the winch or pulled on those winch brackets or the tie-down points, it would bend the bumper forwards. We actually took one of the top nuts out and made it so the bolts were diagonal from each other on both sides. And then right after that, we hooked up to a rope that was attached to Quentin's truck and I winched myself onto the boards. We made the winch line tight and then I pulled a little bit forward as Quentin hit the winch button, like pulling the line in and we pulled myself on the boards, pulled forward. Then we just did it twice and got myself out. So last night we ended up getting out. We stayed right here. I don't know if you can hear the wind or not, but it is so windy outside. We really can't even do anything, which is frustrating because none of us want to be cooped up inside all day long. So the best thing about having a movable house is we are going to move a couple hours away. The wind isn't supposed to be as bad where we're going, so hopefully that's the case. This is what it looks like in here after that gnarly road. There's fruit everywhere, our knife fell, our diffuser on stuck. Holy smokes. That little lump right there is Kitty. Every time we drive, she likes to hide there. Camper. Yeah. One of the biggest things in our life is just trying to help other people. So somebody ran out of gas. We had some gas left from when we used to have a generator. Now we don't have a generator anymore. So we gave them what we did have left and then somebody ended up rolling up saying, oh hey, like in Spanish, like oh hey, like I need some air in my tire. So now we're filling up the air and this isn't to like pat ourselves on the back, but just to be like, pay it forward, you know, help other people when you can. There's nothing we really wanted at the market, but we went in our house, we grabbed cottage cheese and a mango as a snack. We're about two hours from our destination where we're going to be sleeping tonight. We found this restaurant called Terramar on iOverlander, and if you eat there, they let you stay the night. So this is where we stayed. Got a um, bistec ranchero and a fajitas de carne, and they come with uh, french fries, tortillas, and something else I can't understand what he's saying, but it's 150 pesos each, like $14 for two minutes, which is cheap. How interesting is this? It's like half inside, half outside, all that's to the outside, and so is that. So you can like feel all the wind in here. I'm gonna go check out the bathroom. We've read some reviews, so I'm gonna go see what it's about. They even brought us some appetizers. They bought us cucumbers with hot sauce on it. Very interesting. Yeah, it's pretty good. Right after the cucumbers, they brought us Doritos in a basket. Perfect. <laughs> I'm pretty sure. The price right? Mm. Yeah, buddy. <laughs> French fries just falls out. It's huge. It's yeah. huge. It's good. It's good. It's good. Yeah, but this is the. Fajitas, maybe steak, steak, and fajita stuff, french fries, avocado, beans. Hey, I'm gonna dip this in the beans. I feel like that's weird, but I'm gonna do it anyway. <laughs> mm, that's just so good. All right, Grayson didn't really think this is what he was getting. He didn't really know. But it's but fine. It looks good. <laughs> is it good? Right into the camper. 
So we were inside after we finished our meal. We saw these at the front. De la Rosa. And so I asked what it was, and he was just like, it's, you know, it's like sugar. So it was 10 pesos. We decided to try it. The whole, all the food together with this was 310 pesos, so about $15 and some odd cents. So we decided we wanted to try it. It almost smells like peanut butter. What is it? It's like... That is so interesting of a flavor. That's really good. It's definitely nutty. It's like it's like a oh. peanut butter fudge kind of. In our MM morning movement. I don't know if we're gonna do morning mile. We're kind of like just pulled over on the side of the road at this <laughs> truck stop. So we'll do our morning movement. We did skip yesterday because it was so windy. But today we need to get it done. We've got freaking out. We're the type of people that have to our brains just don't function properly, just not just sitting around doing, doing nothing. nothing. So we're gonna kind of check out this place a little bit more. We've already kind of seen it all, but we'll do it again, I guess. So Ashley woke up a couple times during the night from like trucks flying by and you know, dogs, dogs barking and stuff. So from a little bit of a noisy night's sleep at Terra Mar in Ensenada, we are now headed towards Villa or Via Jesus Maria to go to the Sea Lion Arch, which is a little bit off of the beaten path. Let's just say I thought this morning was bad. Holy crap. Look at this knife pierced through the floor. <laughs> the microwave broke. Sorry, Kitty. Oh, this is not good. <laughs> I guess you can tell how rough those roads were by this. Honestly, sometimes you got to uh, risk it for the biscuit. We weren't expecting this to happen. Oh, we should Ashley actually said we should have locked it, which is true. We should have locked it. We, we have an extra lock. lock. We broke something. It's not a big deal. We try not to stress about these little things in life because we've decided to live a life that's so stress-free in terms of worrying about things. So pretty sick. Kind of sucks, but it is what it is. This is the view from outside of our window. We thought we were going to be passing some type of market, and we ended up passing a market that really had like nothing that we needed. So we're out of a couple of things in terms of what we're getting for breakfast and so on and so forth. And we're so up this road that we'll probably be here for the next couple of days. So we're making use of things that we have. We had a lot of bananas that were going bad. We have a blender, protein powder, oats. So we blended up about a cup of oats here, and we are going to mix this with the mash up two mashed bananas in here because they were pretty brown when we bought them they looked pretty good and then they just got super ripe so we're gonna mix the oats with the protein powder probably put some chia seeds in there also put the bananas and then probably use our homemade almond milk that we have that we made with our almond cow so we're trying to make waffles for tomorrow not for today but we're making the mix now yeah we'll make the mix now so that in the morning everything's ready to make some waffles um, I'm excited. I think they're gonna be really good. It's like banana pancakes. And then we have some waffles. vanilla extract that we'll throw in there too. Yeah, we'll show you. We'll, we'll let you know what we actually end up putting in and if they turn out good. Yeah. <laughs> we will show you the sea lions a little bit better when we have our camera at that time we were using the GoPro so you can't see that well but we found these little shelters so we decided why not get a little workout in each workout day one complete as the sun's going down we'll walk the dogs before it gets dark look at that view Right, so we're having chicken tacos. We made some chicken earlier. Beans, salsa, we just made this guacamole. It turned out really good. And then a block of cheese and our tortilla. Good morning. We are going all the way down to the beach to see the sunrise, so we need to get going now because the colors have already started to set in. So as we were walking down to the beach, we realized that we tried to watch the sun rise from the spot we were going to go to, it would be blocked because you're kind of like in a little cove type thing. So we scouted out another spot that we are walking to now. It's a walk for me. 
This is where we're gonna watch the sunrise, but as you can tell, it's behind there. Cannot see it, but we're here now, and it's amazing. That's us up there. This beach is beautiful, but from our spot, which is like straight up above us, there's actually a little secluded beach, even more secluded than this because it's so small. It's for our spot only. <laughs> we're gonna show you it. Yeah, we're here. This is our slice of paradise. Does anyone else agree that the sand is the worst part about being at the beach? Like trying to put sneakers back on? Horrible. Here's the banana oat pancakes. We'll see how they turned out. Put some syrup on there. Really good? Mm-hmm. Should make them again? Mm-hmm. Put <laughs> our little tent here. It's got a 50 UPV rating. Plus Ashley's 50 UPV rating shirt. We're gonna have the really tan legs by the time we leave Mexico. That's it. Tan That's legs it. Only. Tan legs only. <laughs> 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 How does it feel to be able to go in any type of water? It feels nice. It's been like six months since I've been able to do anything like this. Still can't soak, but going in and going out is okay. <laughs> these people knocked on our door just now while we were taking, we were about to take a little siesta, and these people knocked on our door, and I had a feeling that they were stuck. And they got stuck in the Lion's Cove arch thingy, which I don't know why anyone would drive down there, but I guess we're going to try to help them get out, so... Pray for them, wish us luck. So this couple was really stuck. We ended up using some Max tracks. It took a while, but we would stick the Max tracks under, push the car up, and keep going. Eventually, we got them out. So we were just inside right there. We're heading up over top so we can see if we can see the sea lions from above. Next week, we head to Baja California Sur. Don't forget to give the video a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already.